Good morning, today our lesson in integrative programming technology is about file input and output. The outline of this presentation will be, the learning objectives in lesson 3 which is file input output, streams, and its hierarchy, the byte streams, byte input stream, byte output stream, sample code for IO. In character streams we are going to use reader class for input writer class for output. We are going to see sample code for reading and writing files. The standard streams are also discussed with a sample code illustration. Learning objectives, at the end of the lesson, the students must be able to identify what is a stream and its use. Compare and contrast stream byte and stream character, and write a Java program applying the concepts of streams. File input and output, in high level programming language like Java, we can read file data, and also write data in a file. In Java the package java.io holds every class that needs to support the input output. All of these streams represent source for input and a destination for output, the stream. In Java IO stream describe the flow from which you can either read in or read out, or write in or write out of a file. The Java input output stream is also called file handling, or IO file. This file operation can all be found in the java.io package. Basically there are two types of streams, the byte stream and character stream. The byte stream can be used for the writing or reading byte data, the useful classes are input stream slash output stream. While the character stream is used to write or read data about characters, the commonly used class will be reader slash writer. Stream hierarchy. In streams there are byte stream and character stream. The illustration shows that the input stream and output stream belong to byte stream while the reader and writer belongs to character stream. Byte streams, the byte stream is the super class of byte input stream. The byte input streams contains classes like input stream, object input stream, byte array input stream, buffered input stream, file input stream and data input stream. These classes are used for reading byte data from different input devices. Input stream is an abstract class and all input byte are super class streams. Byte output stream is also subclass of byte stream. The output stream is an abstract class and a super class for all the byte output streams used to write data from bytes to different output devices. This is the sample application for file input and output stream. To open Notepad follow the steps. Open your text editor window and type the following code. First import the java.io package, then a class named copy file. Followed by the main method that throws IO exception. Declare and initialize file input stream into null, and also declare and initialize file output stream out to null. Create a try block and put the following code. Instantiate the in with file input stream with input.txt as parameter. Also instantiate the out object with file output stream with output.txt as its parameter. Declare a variable c and then a while loop that will read the content of in the object. Negative 1 is used so that the program can capture all the characters in the object in. Out.writeC is the use to copy the content input.txt to output.txt, then the finally block. This a block is used to execute important code such as closing connections. In this block we close the object in and out. In dot close and out dot close is placed within the if statement to close connection. On menu bar click file then save. On desktop I will create a folder named lesson 3. In this folder I will save the java or java file named copy file. Open your command window and go to the directory where your copy file dot java is located. On our lesson 3 folder manually create input dot text and output dot text. By clicking the mouse right button and selecting new then text document and renaming the file, open the input.txt and type any text you want. The text you will put in this file will be copied on the output file. Notice that our output file do not contain any text before running our program. To compile our program we type javacspace copy file dot java. And to run we type java copy file. After compiling let's check the output file if the text were copied. That's it we completed the first example. Character streams. Character input stream is a type of character stream. These are used for reading the char data from different input devices. Reader is an abstract class, and a super class for all input streams of character. 
The illustration displays the hierarchy of the reader class. It shows that char array reader, string reader, input stream reader, filter reader, buffered reader, and pipe reader are direct descendant of its parent class, which is the reader class. Character output stream. Using these to write the char data to different output devices. Writer is an abstract class and is the super class of all the character output streams. Sample code for file reader and file writer. Open your notepad or any code editor window. Type the following code or simply copy the first example and paste it on a blank notepad. Change the class name into copy file 1. Then use file reader and file writer instead of file input stream and file output stream. Instantiate file reader in, with parameter, input 1. Also instantiate file writer out, with parameter output 1. On menu bar click file, then save, or save as to our folder lesson 3. Save your file as copy file 1.java. Then check our code by opening the folder lesson 3. For the meantime, create a new text file inside this folder and give it a name input 1.txt. Then create another text file and name it as output 1. Same as the process in first exercise, we need to open input 1.txt and type anything you want. In this example I type Michael E. Bensi, MSIT, and save it. Then we open the output 1.txt to see its content. After that we are now ready to compile and run our program. We need to open the command editor window. We open the location of our program using commands, cd, or change directory. After that compile copy file 1 by typing javac copy file 1.java. We type java space copy file 1 to run the application. Now we open the folder and look for output 1.txt. The he should contain the text we place in input.txt. Standard stream. The idea of standard I.O. streams is a C library model that has been integrates into the environment of Java. There are three, three, standard streams namely stout, stin, and stair tools. All of these are managed by the java.lang.system class. The standard input, for stdin. It can be represented by system.in that used for program input, normally reads input entered by the user. The standard output, for stdout. It is the print stream class that used for program output, typically output slash displays information to the user. The standard error, for stderr. It is a print stream just like system.out that used to output slash display error messages to the user. Open your text editor window. On your text editor import java.io, and create a class called read console. Set the main method that throws input output exceptions. Then declare an object input stream reader. This object will use to read some input. Followed by the try block. Inside this block instantiates EIN as input stream reader and provides string message that asks the user to enter characters. By pressing the character Q the program will be terminated. The do while loop is used to read and display the character entered by the user. The finally block is used to close the input stream reader. After completing the code save it on our folder and save it as read console.java. Open your command prompt window and compile our program. We need to locate the java file and then we compile it. We type javac read console.java to compile and java read console to run. We type any strings or characters. This will be displayed and the program will be terminated if we press character Q. End of our sample code.